good morning and welcome back to the new beginnings let's play and this is absolutely marvelous this right i have arrived here i've had a quick scout around i haven't gone far or done much i've opened my packet and i've got chopped down a few trees as you can see with my health bar the lesson is don't use the excavator which is where you chop the whole thing down in one go uh, unless you've got a tool because I have no food oh and I could find some stone and burn those uh, that would give me some food that might well do for a starter right and it's going to be night time as well soon so I think the first thing to do Tunneling into gravel is never a good idea, is it really? And here we are. Here's a little spot we can climb into while we sort out the tools. Okay, let us there we are, pop in here. everybody we got we've got some stone here that's brilliant right let's see what we've got we need to make a pick right so we're gonna make a pick first so we're gonna use uh, now I might need some of those so we can burn them so first we want to pick and if we put that there so we put the pick the blueprint in the corner and then we've put the wood there we've got an axe head okay that's where we start so what we do is if we put the the axe the pick head and if we put a stick in with it we get a wooden pickaxe now let's see can we Ka chink mm -hmm. okay blueprints this is all oh okay these are the achievements for the tools oh crimson eye and that sounds quite nice doesn't it really all right So how many have we got? We've got five. Oh, here's a tip for you. Options. We can go to video settings. And we could put the brightness up a bit. Is that going to be any better for you? Well, I think you might be able to see something. Hang on. If I go, because I'm not going to stay here. Oh look, we've got some ores there. Right, first thing to do. Now, we've got a crafting table. And we're going to use a stick to put a crafting pad. So that means we can make things from our tool belt. Which is incredibly useful. So we've got four planks. I think what I'm going to do. If we put the furnace there we can put one of those in there one of those in there well that gives us a bit of light for a minute I imagine that would be copper oh however the good thing is now we have coal we have some charcoal oh 
Oh. Yeah. Okay, you should now be able to see quite easily of what we're actually doing, which is so much better. Right, let's just get these tools sorted out. I want stone. And then we can sh see how to do. Right. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Take the torches out of my hand. Right. Now, we've made a pick, but we can now make a stone pick. So if we were to put the pick there... And it. we've now got a stone pick now if you take your old wooden pick and put that together you get a stone pick because you've taken the old head off of it and we get rid of that right the shovel we've got a shovel head and we have a shovel marvelous we want an axe, and the axe is three, and a tool, because it doesn't really matter where you put it, it's more about putting the blueprint in there. And last, the katana. I'm thinking that's probably two bits of stone. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Three bits of stone, and a stick. And that does four attack damage. Yeah. Not too brilliant. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's play around with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite quick, though. It is quite quick. Still dark outside. We have got our tools. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw that away. <gasps> yep, I threw it away. I really did. So we want stone to make it. We need some wood. Um, let's see what can we use the gravel for we can make it with concrete a grass fiber mesh oh okay that's quite cool and oh we've got visitors outside can you hear them um, oh, okay, so if we use... Oh, there's mesh. Oh, so there's loads of mesh we can use to get flint. Fine. And the dirt and the coloured concrete. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's something to do with a mod. Hold on. Mystical agriculture is something we will get into. Yeah, so there's more of them there. So if we go to... What do you use flint for? Oh! We could have flint leggings. Hmm. A flint sword. And boots and a flint. So we can make weapons with them. And we can make a... Oh, a block of flint. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? And what else we've got here? All the tools. Oh, a crossbow, look. Okay, so we can make... I think, is that a spear? Yep. So there's no excuse for me not to wear armour, because I'm pretty sure I could probably... I can make armour. Let's have a look, shall we? Wood. Uh, nope, can't make armour out of wood. Stone... Okay, so let's try chest. Oh, what can we make it out of? Iron, diamond, gold. Oh, wow, that looks posh, doesn't it? Neptunian chest plate. Well, wow. aquaculture too looks fun. Oh, a treasure chest. I want one of those. Look at that. That means that when you have one of these art suits of armour, you can fly. 
Oh, okay, that's interesting. So we can make... So it's really f flint. And what's that? And an ender chest backpack. Ooh! See, that's the great thing. There's loads of different things in here. And I'll pick that up. We'll get rid of that in a minute. Right, let's see. Have we got any more copper here? Let's try this, shall we? Oh. Okay, that worked well. And it just used up... That's good. It just used up my tool. Wow, look at that. We've got... Oh, we've great. We've got a rainy day. And it... Well, a snowy day. Come on, then. Well, the sun is starting to arrive. Oh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Can you hear the rain? Oh, there's quite a few of them. Well. Alright. Oh. See, that's what I mean about bo a boreal forest. Because if we look here, this is a boreal forest. When it rains, it snows. Not too good for planting things, I'm thinking. So if we look over there at the corner, it's snowing over there. So maybe that way. Look at the map. Yep, that's quite cold there, isn't it? But that's not. So let's head to not oh that's cold right do you think I can get some kelp let's see but this because this is a 115 pack I want to mind that we don't oh I, a, I don't drown Oh, but uh, also that we can eat some of these because kelp is seaweed and there's some places that eat seaweed a lot in fact I think there's even a bread you can make out of seaweed or with seaweed in it mm. hands up if you think that sounds tasty right so we are raining we've got quite a bit Ugh. Do you know what? Let's. That's really raining, isn't it? Hang on. Oh. We do need some more wood, so we're going to have to. Do you know what? Um. Oh look, there we are. A tree has planted itself. That's fine. Let's see if we can. Oh, I tell you what we could do. Let's get some gravel. Because we might get some flint. Oh, what a terrible day. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear spider. Oh, hello. Right. So, we need to find a place. Oh, look, sand. So, we might have a bit of a desert over there. Let's go up high. Oh, can you imagine running in this rain if you didn't have a coat or anything? Ooh. Okay, that's just a flowery empty, those. I don't know what they are. Oh, okay. Take the torches out of my hand. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? What is it? A citrus log. Oh, okay. Does that mean we can get ourselves some citrus fruit? And... Yes. 
What did we get? Mmm. Well, we're... Let's just... Munch, munch, munch. I'm not sure that I would be able to eat that many lemons like that. That would just be like... Well, did we leave them? We did. Oh, there's... Sorry, that someone outside has upset a Heidi. Because they, how dare they, they drove past. Right, check the map. Oh, we're on one huge island. Okay, so north it is then. Is that still... We might have to make a boat. What are they? They look nice. Oh, Lily of the Valley. That's lovely. Citrus logs. Right. Okay. Sitting out the rain. Right, so I'm thinking what we might have to do is go and hit one of those islands over there. Because we're probably going to have to explore a lot more. Oh, they don't fill you up much. <sighs> hmm. Might need to get myself a machete. Right. Oh. That's an interesting hole in the ground. And there's a big hole. Can you hear that? I definitely need more wooden material. Right, stop it, you silly plants. Uh, okay. How are we doing? That's a river there. Oh look, I think we've actually landed. That's probably the mainland. We might have to get to this forest here. Okay. Oh, the rain is starting to stop. I was going to say I thought that was like a ravine. But it's not. And although I've heard loads of seagulls. Mm -hmm, I have not seen anything living yet. Oh no. It's like, pretty sure there's some fish out there. So we are really a castaway. Huh. So the question is, look at the map. Oh, there. Do you know what? There are no... They're all out at sea, the fish. Right. Ah. So what I'm going to do is uh, apple saplings. Apple uh, oak sapling year round. Um, I want that. We need some wood, yes. Birch sapling. See, a lot of these trees I want to keep. And if you've got one, you might as well have a few. So is there something I can get rid of? 
Oh. Okay, well, we'll have space soon, I suppose. Right. At least it stopped raining. Well, today's episode seems to be running around. See, that's quite nice, but um, I do want a slightly better place. That's loads of clay. Can I eat? Oh, let's put the torch there. I'm going to eat the apple. Because we need clay for the earlier machines. And whoop! So if I can get a stack of these, I'll be over the moon. Oh, I've got more than a stack now. And it's starting. Nope, let's leave some space. Suns are setting. Do you think we're going to get over there in time? I'm not sure we will. Let's swim underwater quick. Much faster swimming. And we're now in the cold bit again. Okie dokie. So if we need some gravel, I think we found some. And let's put that there. There we go. That'll do. There we go. Right. Let's get a little bit more cobble. Right, let's see, what can we make? Um, hmm. What? Indeed. I've got all my tools. Actually, let's leave a torch there for someone. I wonder if that will go in the right hand actually. Let's try that, shall we? And no. It does. But I have to keep swapping hands to do it, so I'm not gonna do that. And I don't want a torch in that hand either. Right, so what have we got? If I put dry... No, nope, what we want... Let's come out of that. If I highlight rotten flesh... If I put it on a drying rack... I get some food... No, zombie leather. Ugh. So let's see, what can I use zombie leather for? Oh, I see. Four of them make a piece of leather. Could be useful. But in the meantime, I will pick that up in a minute. Let's make another. Because what I would like to do is if I put that there, Let's see, shall we? Let's see how many of those we can cook up. Um, 
and I will leave for anyone who gets here a little bit no because it's right near spawn isn't it they won't be able to pick it up because if you're close to spawn on a server you can't pick it up right so what have we got we're gonna get loads see that's by killing mobs so I do want to keep those we've got a fir tree a spruce sapling rather apple oak I think they're everywhere aren't they yeah and that's another that's a fruit tree uh, the copper we've got six bits of copper hmm I could make a weapon out of that and what can we do with the citrus logs oh okay let's take some of those do they make just normal sticks? Yes. Alright, so let's just use those up to get some sticks. So that saves a bit of space. And spruce. Food. And you know what I'm going to do? Let's put those in there. Because if we can get a stack of kelp to nosh on, that'd be lovely. And a katana. A swift sword. That only does four damage. And the axe does seven. It is much slower. That's the downside. It's whether or not you want to hit everything in front of you, or not. Right. Well, here we are. Almost, we've gone, you see the distance from spawn, 5 in 5 metres. So we spent a day, and we've gone 5 metres. Mm -mm. It's not too good, is it really? But it's better than it could be, I suppose. Right, let's take that out. That gives us... If I do that... Okay. That's going to cook 20 of them. And I've still got some food left over. And actually, if I put those in... Oh, I've given myself two spaces. Look at me go. Right. So we got the word, we've got those. Wheat seeds are going to be everywhere, aren't they? Really? So let's get rid of the apple saplings. Let's get rid of the wheat seeds. Now, what do the oat seeds do? So let's have a look at, shall we? Oat those so they're like wheat what recipes we can make some uh, so if we have chicory and onion and cheese a bit too much work potato fish oh look we could have fish and chips so oats fish and potatoes um, pancakes oh I don't know a fish fillet look fish and oats a cookie All right. I'm trying to find an early food that is quite easy oh ok noodles what can I use oh ok oh wow so noodles and ink squids or squid sacks makes a lot Tomatoes and noodles is spaghetti. That's quite good. So we need to keep an eye out for tomatoes. And they're made with... Oh, any of those materials makes two noodles. Right. Which is... That's quite impressive. I'm quite pleased with that. And we've got the citrus planks. 
Spruce planks, get rid of. So now we've got some space. And I've just picked something up again. Oh dear lordy lordy. Get rid of those. Get rid of the wheat. No. Right, hold on. Little tip for you. If you keep picking them up, make a hole. Don't fall in the hole, obviously. And then we've got oak saplings. We've got some citron, which are these. Can we use those for anything? We just eat them. Okay, well, they'll do for the time being. Oak apple sapling and oak sapling. Okay, we'll get rid of half of those, so I'm going to keep them. I think that's most of what we need now. So I'll let that cook itself down. We've got a bit of food. Which is hopefully going to last... There we go. Well, let's head out, shall we? No, that's snow. Well, on the next episode of Let's Play New Beginnings, we're going to try a new beginning that way. So, back of the headshot again. So it's GP on the PC saying ta-da for now and please be safe and look after yourselves. And even though I can hear the seagulls, they're hiding. So you all take care, take care be safe. And I'll see you all soon. And again, thanks to the Hillies, Car Car, Galaxy Paws and HR Dog. All of you be safe. Ta-da for now.